Hey, hey, my awesome friends. Yogi Zen dude here, living the yogi van life here. Uh, so just going to share with you uh, uh, my current living space here along the, the Colorado River here and Oxbow Road here. Uh, Ehrenberg, Arizona is just seven miles that way. And, was, and that's where the 10 crosses the Colorado River into California, and Blythe, California, uh, to be uh, specific there. So <clears throat> I'm in Arizona, and that's California over there. And uh, so uh, Hey, hey, my awesome friends, Yogi Zen dude here, living the yogi van life here. I think this is take 10. <laughs> so it's it's going to be a, a short little tour um, uh, inside and outside the, the van uh, here. So uh, yeah, I did get a new shade cloth here. I highly recommend those. Those are like at your nurseries. They're much cooler underneath Uh they're much cooler uh, than the tarps or the canvas there. So uh, on the van, uh, I tape and papered off around the top and had a white spray paint party up there. You know, of course, covered the panels and the fantastic van, too. Uh, there, there's 300 watts of uh, power up there, three 100-watt flexible panels Uh Use some Velcro to stick them down, which is not needed. And then just the uh, Gorilla Tape all the way around. It's been up there seven, eight months, no problems there. Very simple to, the solar system scared the hell out of me doing it. Very simple to do. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's really that that simple. I call Renogy and I work with them on uh, just what you need for it and they'll They'll give you the diagram. It's really one, two, three, four. You can do it. Fantastic fan. Putting that in, cutting the hole. Very simple. You can do it there. You have everything you need and and, and keep it from leaking. I've had no leaks, no problems with it. It works awesome uh, there. I did the bare metal look around because I've always had hot rods there. So... The stripe down the middle, bare metal, the hood, underneath the grill, underneath the windows on the back doors, all bare metal. There's a good five coats of clear coat on there, so it, it'll never rust. I painted the the inside of the wheel silver, and there's a white rim on it. That was a lot of tape and paper uh, to do. Very intricate uh, there. Highly recommend for your comfort, a director's chair, and then... Uh, I got it 24 bucks at uh, Big Five. Also from Big Five, I've got the uh, the shade thing here, and it just slides right on. They're 100% protection from the sun there. And uh, so paint poles, ex telescoping paint poles, very light and sturdy. Got them for my poles. You will have to grind off the threads so they'll go through the, the holes or figure another way to hook them up. Uh, there and then it's just if you don't have a rack uh, uh, vice grips and they're like 99 cents at Walmart if you can believe that 99 cents uh, there so uh, trying to keep this short here um, as half inch insulation on the floor half inch plywood and this is some indoor uh, indoor lawn here after a few months, I found it was laying with the side of my, you know, sitting in here and the side of my feet and stuff. It was kind of rough on my feet. So I cut a yoga mat in half, half and put that down. Much better there. I've got, I started with my, some yoga mats down and an inch and a half of foam, foam mattress. Wasn't enough. Went back and, at and got a four inch foam mattress and put it on top. Uh, I, for the, Keep me warm if I'm in a cold area. I got a sleeping bag from REI, uh, good down to 30 degrees. I've got my big pillows so I can cuddle up with myself at night. Two comforters uh, here. Just you know, just really keeping it simple uh, in here. Um, 
back to the insulation, a you know, half inch on the walls and the where there are walls <laughs> and on the ceiling and then reflectix over that there. Some people do it the other way around. I'll leave that up to you and your research on that. And this has worked really good for me. So and then that cut out reflectix for all the windows, it makes a huge difference. Huge difference there. Um, there. And then uh, you know, then there's my controller in the back. Uh, inverter, converter, and the batteries are underneath that. Uh, big bag, I bought bags back from India and Nepal. My clothes are in them underneath here, and you know, somewhere in these storage that I got from Walmart, you know, 12 bucks each on these. Uh, these I got at, at uh, Home Depot, and the front opens too there, so more food in there. My 12 volt winter 45 quart uh, refrigerator. It's by Winter. Um, they're W Y, you know, N T E R, however you spell it, but W Y Winter. Really good. Uh, highly recommended by many uh, there. And then these, I've got another cooler like that right here, you know, covered with that material and stuff. I put more room for, for food there and I got you know like bottles of juice or iced tea or water back there or, or my granola and dates there and then I keep some more food in the back you know and I put my bottles of water back there and then uh, I got tools back there so again I just I um, it was all about living space versus storage space uh, there. So you, you want to, mm, I, I would recommend, you know, putting the bare minimum in your, when you get it, put the bare minimum you need in it for a, for a few weekends, you know, a couple of weekends, you know, something to sleep on. Uh, you might, you know, just get a, a cooler, you know, a, from Walmart with some ice in it. And put your food and drinks in there, and uh, you can bring your Coleman stove and and stuff, and just you know, and some clothes and bathroom stuff, and then go out for a weekend or two and experience that with the, just the minimum that you need there, and experience the space you've got in there. You know, get a four-inch foam mattress and bring it with you with your bags and comforters and pillows and. Lay it out and experience that, the, the minimum there, uh, there, uh, so you can see and feel what that's like, um, there, cause you really don't need all that much stuff. So you, you, you want to make a decision about do you want living space or, or just how much stuff do you absolutely have to drag along with you? <laughs> I mean, you could have racks and all kinds of stuff on the top of your roof. You can get boxes to attach to the back of your your hitch and, and stuff and have all kinds of stuff on that. It's all a matter of how much stuff, how many toys you you, you want to have with you there. So, um, uh I just, I just wanted it real simple, and it's just for me. Uh, I don't have a life partner uh, by choice, and and I, I don't have a dog or a cat. I love them. I've had lots of them there, but I, they don't know how to wipe their feet off when they come in, or and stuff, or uh, there, and uh, so it's it's just me. It's just me, and this is this what is what rings my bells, and and I just recommend feeling it out with the minimum first, so you can experience that, and 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 you can decide, you know, what rings your bells. There, I mean, you could have the racks with stuff on on top, so you don't have so much in, inside, or you can have a trailer, uh, you know, a, a trailer trailer where you're just putting stuff in, or and have your motorcycle in or your bikes there uh, there, or you can have a trailer trailer 
um, there, you know, a camper trailer there, and uh, and you know, have stuff in here and living space and in, in the trailer. There, there's there's trade offs. I mean, because I I've thought a lot about these things, and a trailer would be really fun, man, really fun. There in the extended living indoor living space and and stuff and and and, and uh, stuff and I could put my bike and side here and stuff and and uh surfboard and stuff and uh it you know it, and the kayak you know it, and then my living in in the in the trailer and then I uh or just how do I set it up you know so I'm in here in the van some and in the trailer some I have the solar here do I have solar on the trailer there, just you want to feel through, just feel through that. And I'd love to have a trailer, um, but I can't get into the place that I, I've been to a number of places now that I just love, and I'm I'm gonna go back to, and I could not get a trailer in there. I could not get the trailer in there. Even a small one, just carrying, you know, like a motorcycle and a kayak and a surfboard on and stuff uh, there. So, you know, and if I if I if I build it up two foot, you know, so it's a high rise too. I love that idea, and I know how I'd want to do the inside there. So just play, play with it, so that when when you then you know that you love what you've got. But with the, the high rise again, there's places I could not get into because I'm driving down roads and trails with the bushes and trees, tree bushes scraping the side of the van and tree branches scraping the top of the van. Um, there, so the, that's what it's like out there, and you got to decide. If you want to go there, <laughs> if you want to go there, the, 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 the high rise is going to limit you on those places you can go. The trailer will limit you on the places you can go. Yeah, they're fun, and, but, and you can still, still go to some really awesome places that will blow your mind there. There's just not as many of them that you can go to. <laughs> so again, what feeling out what your lifestyle is. What? How do you want that to be? How do you want that to be um, there? Uh, and maybe it's with the 40-foot RV there. You know, it's... Uh, one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and you're you're pulling a, another seventy-five thousand uh, dollar camper trailer in back of it. There, you're or you're pulling a sixty thousand dollar four-wheel drive in in back of it. There, or a trailer with uh, with four side by sides on it, and your kayaks and your bicycles. And the like uh, there. Um, it's all up to you. It's all up to you uh, there. You just want to feel out what what rings your bells. What are the things? What are the things you want to do? Where are the places you want to go? And how will that all flow together uh, there? Um, So uh, I don't know. I've I've given a a lot of thought in you know, different things. Having the having the camper trailer or having a trailer, you know, with uh, my, my bicycle and maybe a dirt bike there, my surfboard and a kayak there, and then there's security uh, with it too. You know, I I don't like things getting taken from me. Somebody stole my bicycle when I was uh, in high school. I worked at Albertsons for months and I bought a $250 Swin Sports Tour and somebody stole that. That uh, I don't like that. 
there. So there's security there and maybe got things locked up real good. But I mean, man, if somebody wants it, they're going to take it there. So there's that to, you know, a mindset to there and the, sec the security measures you take with it. And it depends on where you go and stuff. And that too can limit you on on where you go. So you just you want to feel that all out. You want to feel that all out there. Oh, I want to recommend these uh, camp tables. Uh, I just bought it at REI here a few weeks ago. Here, my another buddy of mine has one. But see that? So this top rolls up. There's a bar here and a bar here. And then that folds up and all goes into a small... Uh, sturdy bag there it's very light uh very sturdy there rei has them they're 65 bucks uh there and then i want uh i don't get anything for that so what if i did um <laughs> what's the big deal about people making money from selling something i don't know <clears throat> um and then um, my new hammock, you know, my friend that had the table had a hammock like this. He works down in a, a deep in Mexico in a mountain town teaching English there. And uh, he got a tarp like this there. They're handmade in the Yucatan uh, there. And I got it on Amazon <laughs> without going to the Yucatan. Amazon had them that's made by a company called Hammocks Rada. R A D as in dog A, Hammocks Rada, Amazon. There was it much? Uh, was it thirty nine dollars or something? It's somewhere in that neighborhood. It wasn't a lot. Oh, we have our first boat of the weekend. Nope, it's the uh, it's the quads coming back up, or at least one. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, and here's the bike. Here's the, I got the hits just for my bike rack uh, here. There, so I uh, got that at U-Haul. Uh, 160 bucks for that. 40 bucks to put it on there. Uh, 217 bucks for the for the bike rack uh, here. That is doubling uh, for my for my exercise stuff. Uh, if you get these. Uh, you know, cord, you know, stretchy exerciser things, get them with the handles. Get them with the handles. When they don't have the handles, it is very painful on the hands. You're having to deal with how much pain you can deal with along here. <laughs> how, I mean, for a lot of people, it's a big deal just to start exercising and then to deal with pain. And, oh my God, fuck that. <laughs> Get them with the handles. <laughs> All right. All right, my awesome friends. Lots of love. Lots of love. And have too much fun out there with your camping, your RV living, your, your van living there. Have too much fun.